Hello everybody, my name is Jonathan aka Creations2790. I'm here to show you how to add sequences all into one because I know people have been having problems where they add videos on different sequences and they're trying to figure out how to merge them into one file. So that's what I'm here to show you. Here's my intro, so I'm going to place this to be my first one is pretty much showing you how I do my YouTube videos next I have some edited already which you'll see in, my, in the next gameplay this is how you merge them so first you click on the click on the frame make making sure it's highlighted there and that's how you know as you can see it's split click on right click and press copy Turn this all the way to the end and you right click and press paste. See, you see how it, how it added? Now, the reason why you have to do this is because you can only export one sequence. So if you have, let's say you got multiple sequences like I do and you're trying to, you're like, how am I supposed to export, that doesn't merge it? Like I know some other video editors like um, VSDC they automatically when you put in different different sequences of videos they they merge it for you automatically where video pad from NCH doesn't do that so you have to do it manually as I see you see you make sure it's highlighted copy go to the sequence that you want to export And paste it. Continue doing this with your other sequences. So next will be this and so forth and so on. Outro. Add all of it into here by copy by clicking on the frame and copy and pasting it on there. Um, I've actually had a problem with this first also because before I used the VSDC. VSDC, which itself isn't isn't that much of a bad video editor, especially if you're you're a beginner and you're learning to video edit. Um, you can, uh, and it's one of the cheapest ones to upgrade with. It's only about think about nineteen ninety nine if you're trying to upgrade your upgrade. <sighs> so that's pretty much it. Now it's just to show you, I'm going to add all the clips and on there and then export it for you to you to see that, that I'm not BSing. So here we go. Where am I? Let me see. Where did I leave off at? Da, 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 da. Okay. Then. This file actually, I'm using XSplit to record my videos, and sometimes it messes up um, by freezing or, or whatever. So, yeah, is this the next one? Yes, it is. Okay, like with um, like with this guy, it, it one of them froze, so I had to edit that out, and you don't want to watch a. A game freeze for about five to ten seconds, so I edit that out. That's it with Inkwell IO one. Here's two. Paste. 
making sure I got the right one. And then my eyes outro. Oh fuzz, I just deleted. Oh great. Well blah. Okay, so with that that's pretty much it. Go to export. And make sure it's highlighted on sequence 5, because if you had it on sequence 2, 3, or 4, or whatever, then it's going to export that. Make sure to go to the sequence with all your video files in there. See if you split it or not, make sure it's on there. Export it, video file. You see how, how all you got all 8 of them on there when it, when it was going to export it? Um, I'll just name this copy. It shouldn't take that long, but yeah, see, it's a it ain't that much, that big of a video, so it's not gonna take forever. You know, if you have something a whole lot bigger, like a an hour or so, then yeah, it's definitely gonna take a while. Even if you're cutting, splitting and stuff. Now, the one thing I liked about VSDC is it had hardware acceleration. So, when you're exporting a video, it would, um, it had the hardware acceleration option where it would export a video more faster, where the video pad doesn't. So, they each have their advantages and disadvantages. Uh, video pad is more expensive than VSDC. And in my opinion, that they're, they're both pretty much the only difference between VSDC. It, it's it looks a little bit more complicated. The user user interface, it's 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 all just weird. That's why the only reason why I stopped using it because I'm like, come on, with all with all this, where video pads layout is very easy to use. Everything's set up. It's a it's a pretty pretty nice way to s split and place and stuff so I would definitely recommend a uh, video pad but if you don't want to go through all this mess and the copy and pasting and all that stuff then I would definitely do VSDC where it'll export all the multiple videos for you and now I'm going to show you the video Just using Windows Media Player. As you can see, it worked. Here's a real high class bout. my video clips all in one video so that's my tutorial here by doing that I really hope this helped you a lot um, definitely leave a like a comment subscribe um, definitely appreciate you guys for viewing this video today and 
that's pretty much it. Yeah, have a blessed day.